But uh this music is so good. Yo, I'm hoping for multiplayer when we get that hit that milestone that uh it's decided that we can play some 100% orange juice. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, who's ready for uh P5S? Who is ready? What's this? All right, because we got some stuff we got to talk about. So, this. All right, Mo, I need your expertise. Are we about to get distorted audio? Or are we not about to get distorted audio? Distorted, please. Sounds good. Cool. It's not distorted. I'm sorry. So I need to show you guys some stuff that I missed. As we listen to some bopping music. You lost the house. I'm sorry. All right. I missed a few things. So we're going to get that first before we... Continue this jail. I'll tell you guys where we're at and stuff. So we got this right here. Which we've 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 seen that. I took a picture for some reason, don't worry about that. Um that we've already gotten. So these two chests. I gotta show those two chests. Also, I will switch around my party in a little bit. Because I know my preferred party order. For those who are curious. I actually have a very much a preferred party order. Um... This music is great. All right, so let's, uh, and some people may be really happy about who my preferred party is. I just want to say, that's why it's me. So I'll talk about, I'll talk about some of this stuff here in a little bit. All right, so see this thing right here that I was like, how the fuck do you get in there? This, there's, uh, there's this right here, it's a switch. Yeah, there's, there's a switch right here that you just... Boop. You have time! Go, buddy! Skateboard Central! Rude. Literally, you have to ride a skateboard in 8 seconds. Got it. Got the alluring sticker. Oh no, where it does. Alluring sticker. Uh, Showtime gauge rate up slow. Uh, I'll give that to one of the people that will get. that and then there's another checkpoint never mind there's one other thing I got to do because I forgot so apparently I was not paying attention and did not see that there was a uh, chest right over here we actually did not get this I don't believe it's one of the respawning chests every time we come back in here But the big ones that I missed are right here. I missed two things over here. Both of them pretty good. Thank you. 
Also, yeah, load times on the Switch, not the greatest. But it's okay. We're all here. So what, next? what next? Well, let's go grab the thing that I missed. Two of them, actually. Yeah, also, if you did beat Shadows, you have to have three answers. So, right here is this chest with a lock on it. You get Pulsar. Which is a weapon. Oops. It is a weapon. For Sophie. Has a low chance of, of applying Dizzy. But it gets better! Because... You guys just thought... Wait a second. You only miss Sophia's weapon? Or was weppy? We weapon? All the above? We go over here. And open this up. There's a Blizz Dagger! Which you might expect is for... Yoker! Has a low chance of freeze. So yeah, there's that. Now it's time to go uh, to go organize our team and uh, move forward. Oops. No! Okay, fine. So who's uh, who wants to guess who my team is gonna be? Checkpoints, we at the entrance. Who wants to guess who my team is gonna be? And this might be the f like we might be changing depending on like weaknesses and such if we have to like fight some of the same things. But Yusuke, Hari, and Sophia. Good guess. Good guess. By the way, and anyone wants to know how long I've been playing to grind. Uh, 20 hours already. So, uh, first thing I want to show everybody is I did get everyone's Master Arts. So I have everyone, all four Master Arts for everybody. Um, so these are actually pretty cool. Some of these are really cool. Morgana's is weird, because they're all luck-based. Ice Counter's good, Nuclear Reaction's good, Coley is really, really good. Mega Blasters, these So, uh, Futaba cannot be removed from the party. Just need to check it. Before I do anything crazy, just need to make sure. Yep. So, our party is going to consist of Ryuji, Haru, and Sophia. Uh, here's the reason. And also, this has nothing to do with the fact that Yusuke is level 17. It's level 17. So I played around with every single character because you have to play as them in order to get their master. So let me kind of go through how everybody's... Uh, and here's actually what I'm going to do because I know this music's a little bit distracting. I'm going to pause music real quick. I'm going to pause music real quick. Let me explain real quick how each character plays real quick. So Joker is pretty much like the default, beat up everybody, have a good time. Ryuji is all about charge attacks, and his charge attacks can freaking demolish anybody. Especially, like, physical attack with Captain uh, Captain Kid can demolish a lot of people. Morgana, for some reason, his stuff is all kind of luck-based. His He's like a luck-based attacker. Um, some of his master arts require him to, like, have some luck into, like, trying to critical of some people. But most of the time when you're doing combos with him, he'll accidentally turn into the cat car, and you lose control of him. And it blows. On has a fire whip, but the problem is, is a lot of uh, a lot of people that will end up fighting will become immune to a fire as time goes on, uh, or to Agi rather. And as much as I like On, uh, her fire whip is kind of crucial to how she plays. But she's really good with AOE and such. Yusuke, I'm sorry, Yusuke is not good in this game. At least I don't particularly think so. Yusuke is all about countering people. Like, fully countering people. And as much as he's like a funny character and such, 
you have to pretty much hope that you you are like nearly about to get hit to take care of Yusuke. You can kind of do some cool combos every now and again, but his big draw is counter. Like if I also, because I know King Cheese wants to know. Um, he does have Masuku Kaja, which helps with like dodging. But most of the time, like you'll do a combo, but if you mess up the combo, it goes into his counter stance and you have to wait it out unless you dodge, which has been super annoying to deal with. Um, I might switch between Ryuji and Yusuke though, just because Yusuke has some better AoE, but we'll see. Makoto, her she, she her whole thing is just about doing technical attacks with uh, with nuclear damage. Hers is all about like technical attacks with nuclear, which is cool. But you also always end up on Johanna, so you end up like moving just randomly. It's weird. The reason I like Haru is because all of Haru's stuff is you just hold down the special, like the heavy attack button when you're doing a combo, and she just continually does it and keeps racking up damage. And her final master art, Italy, Italy, uh, it becomes faster and faster. So as you can see in like the little preview, she just starts spinning and does more and more damage as time goes on. So that's really, really good. And then Sophia, I just really want to get better at the uh, the rhythm mechanic. Also, her gun is a fucking gravity blaster, as you can see right here when it's charged up. Um, it's a literal gravity blaster. So, yeah. Yeah. Yusuke does have some uses, King Cheese. I know you really, really do like Yusuke. The, the only issue is, is that... Unfortunately, it just really sucks trying to deal with counters. And if you mess up once in a combo and do a heavy... Like, you, you essentially be like, okay, I'm going to three, you do this, and then you have to, like, dodge out. Which, but it takes a long, because he's just standing there like this. And you're just like, uh, what are you, can I go, please? And, but Haru is, like, kind of the, the best one out of this entire group. I'll also talk about bond points in a bit. I will talk about bond points in a little bit. Um, I did get quite a bit of bond rank up wasn't too bad really wasn't <laughs> so go here so this is where the the spotlights were right that we were having trouble with So as you can see, like, I'm just holding this down. If I can do the spinning move, just look at this. Doing 13, 20 damage, and that might not seem like a lot, but trust me, it's a lot. Also, my, yes, my bond level's level 11. I'm supposed to go down here. Get seen immediately. Also, yeah, you're permanently at a... You end up being permanently on 99 alert, by the way, in this. Which is fine. Why is that not working? Yeah, I don't care. I don't know, some of the some of the platforming stuff does not really work too well. It's a shadow with a minigun. Hey, it's a succubus. He's a succubus. The Twilight Prostitute. I love this name. Oh, 
Party members inflicted with brainwash will attack their teammates and be cured with their meter drop. Just keep doing weak to gun attacks. Use the bazooka. Use the bazooka. All out attack, Haru. Let's go. Hey, Captain Kid, Rebel Soul. Spare time gauge increases. Alright, just to show you guys my bond, by the way. So my bond right now is level 11. So I have um, Oracle Recovery. So restores HP and SP to all party members at the end of battle. Uh, I have max uh, level 4 getting masks. Level 2, more bond points. Level 2, more money. And uh, more cracking open saves. Kind of the big thing. Let's go. We're going in. I can't get freaking skateboard sexual in my brain. Or what Mo just said. Hold on. So it says start with this one. Go for it. Go for the first one. We'll go here. Then we ignore these three to go here. Then we hit this button. Yeah, no, I don't think they're that stylish, being honest. Yeah, they all add attacks, like, they're not super interesting, so. Alright, are we actually gonna fight Alice? Is there another mechanism? What's this? It's an elevator. Enemies. Intruders, get them! Androsses! Don't worry, we're strong as fuck. Let me just spin in circles! Everything will be fine! Also, freaking Haru's little move of just spinning is pretty good. Also, I'm not gonna- you guys won't ever see me do anything crazy like that. Alright, cool. What did you say? <laughs> Take over! Done. Takeover is done now. Why are there shadows up here? It's so weird. All out attack, quickly. Also, yeah, just... Noir's a uh, grenade launcher is the greatest. i just like everyone to know. I didn't mean to do this. I don't know if you guys know, saw this one before. This one's pretty cool. Show's over. 
<laughs> we need more beauty thief in our life. Ow, I just got randomly brainwashed. No, oh, don't use Rakunda. It's like, don't use Rakunda. What are you doing? Let me just keep doing this. It's fine. I have a grenade launcher. Things are okay. Let me just hold on, hold on. I got this. This will be fine. This will be fine. Boom. I'll give it my all. Constant! Oh shit, not Mark Karn. I'm being brainwashed over here! <laughs> her freaking... Her freaking grenade launcher is so powerful. Literally, all I did for grinding is just run around with the freaking grenade launcher. It's an archangel. Incoming. The exploring can wait until we know it's safe. These guys are weak to explosions of wind. No, heavily punish. Reiji, by the way, is uh, way more powerful than you guys think. Yeah, he also... Uh, Ryuji's whole thing is he doesn't flinch anymore. Yeah, his whole thing is he really does not care about flinching anymore. See how's it going? Yeah, uh, Ryuji's also really good in this game. Fun fact, Ryuji's actually really good. I see some it. Good job. You ready for anything, guys? All right, are we fighting her now? What is this doing here? And where's Alice? She doesn't seem to be here. Hey, hey, look! Is that 
a treasure? No. I can tell now this is something completely different from a treasure. <sighs> Everyone What's up? hide! Shadows ahead. What are they doing here? Those are Have those are desires. desires. Yes, sir. It's all of them so far. Desires. More are coming soon. Capture every last one of them, seize their desires, and bring them here. Understood, sir. Hey, those are those are desires. No mistake there. Yeah. The same as what we saw the other day. When he took it out of the boat with the poor kid? Guy person, I don't know. The desires are being pushed to the lights in the sky. Uh, where'd they go? Where'd you go? What was all that? They said they were bringing desires <laughs> here, right? Yep. So those jewels are the desires? They looked like they got sucked up into that light. Mm -hmm. There's no question. That treasure like shimmering up there? That's the desire. Tatsus? We did was collecting them. But that was a pile of gems. How come they turned into that shimmery thing? This is just speculation, but maybe that up there's the original form of a desire? After all, people's desires don't naturally have a single concrete form. Because we all find our own desires precious. That could be why they looked at the gems here. When the people had their desires seized by the shadows, they consciously felt them being taken, so the desires took form then. But what turned them back into light? Their desires are still stolen. Maybe Alice is considered their owner now that they're in her birdcage here. Alice doesn't seem to believe they can be stolen back. That's why they turned back into their base form. Gotcha. That they makes sense. To follow logically. At True. any rate, if we reclaim the desires and release them from this cage, people may well return to normal. Yeah, True. It's definitely worth a try. One moment. How does one steal light? That's a great question. Use a calling card, though. A calling card? What is that? It's how we make that shimmery light take material form. If we make the owner aware that someone is after their treasure, it takes form. Desires should work the same way. To do it, we send a calling card to our target that says we're going to steal whatever is most precious to them. I got it. I think. Are we sure it'll work, though? This isn't a palace with a treasure. Nothing is obtained without action. We must at least try first. For now, let's focus on securing our infiltration route. Hell yeah! I'm getting there first! Yo! Dang, mime action up in here. Barrier? Am I hearing something? Sophie, wait! You just go away. What do you think you're doing looking at the guys like that? She is like such a waste of space, you know? Totally. She's such a loser. It hurts to look at her. <laughs> no. I just. What was that? You heard it too? A memory hidden by the monarch. Sophie, are you alright? No problem here. Hmm. However, interesting. Let's something out. That memory we heard is the key to the barrier. How's that? This cage is currently locked. You're right. What's that doing there? Well, it probably because she wants to keep us in. Which we will find in the room those voices came from. It will be some sort of secret room. But we can't find this room here. We need to return to reality for that. Reality? Why is that? The room has been completely isolated. Its entrance exists only in the real world. How do you know all this? One of your programs or something? I do not know. I merely sense it. <laughs> I don't know why I know this thing, but guess what? I probably it will be fine. Lock on this cage is somehow linked to a lock in Alice's heart. Probably. Monotone? If Sophie's right, what we heard just now is a memory of the monarch. 
That means it's extremely important to her. I have a feeling that memory is acting as the lock on her heart, keeping us from getting past that door. So this this is reminding me it's like how do I put this? This is like Persona 4 and 5 put together. I don't want to say too much about Persona 4 because we haven't streamed it yet and I know all about that game. But to me, it sounds like they've combined Persona 4 and 5 and put it into P5S. That makes sense for those who play the games. It's only natural that the key to this place would be hidden somewhere that no one would find. That logic is indeed sound, but how is it possible? This is all just speculation so far. I've never seen anything like this either. True. This could be another difference between the palaces and this jail. Yeah, because palaces are gone, but jails are here. A secret room in this world, you said? Correct. We must find the location in reality instead. And that would be... I was not able to detect it. But it should be related to those voices somehow, right? Hmm. I could be wrong, but didn't it sound like someone was getting bullied? Looking at guys like that. Maybe school age? That could be. Brilliant deduction, Panther. I'm just no stranger to hearing that kind of stuff, is all. Or on. Panther. If she's right, does that mean the key we need is somewhere in Alice's old school? That would Ooh. be logical. All right. Let's go do some investigating back in the real world next. We're going to need a calling card. Like we've got our work cut out for us. Guys just oogling the girls. Damn. I may have missed my mouth. Just by a little bit. Just by a little bit. Celebs went to high school, easy to find online? Usually, yeah, but this time, no hits, even on the underground sites. All Damn. I'm seeing is fake info from deluded fans. Even Damn. if she changed her name, there'd still be traces of that somewhere. Usually. This shit even you can't find, Futaba? This reeks of a serious scrub job. Someone, probably her, intentionally hid her past. This is quite the setback. I don't worry, Sophia probably is going to be able to find it. I'll never find a way into that secret room. But isn't it like impossible to just erase stuff from the internet on your own? How else could we approach this? What if Maku-chan's sister looks into it for us? She's a prosecutor turned lawyer. Maybe she'll have access to useful intel we couldn't gather ourselves. Is this where that police guy comes into play? That could work. Think it's doable, Makoto? I don't have a problem doing it, but how exactly would I go about asking? Personal information and histories are legally protected, so I doubt she'd readily agree to hand that over to us. Yeah, just asking her to tell us where Alice went to school not even lie. What about that I officer? There. I really don't want to wind up on the other side of a table with her getting all, Answer me! Ah, uh, okay. Alice Aragi's school. Hey, what up, Zenkichi? A shady detective. I'm PopSec, not just some cop detect. Wait, I'm not shady. <laughs> I like this guy so much. Yes, quite. These kids are something else. Would you quit saying that kind of stuff with that smile on your face? So what do you want? Come on, enough of the cold shoulder. You know I'm trying to help you out. You help us? We don't like the police. There's good reason, but you want to know where Alice Shiragi went to school, right? That's right. But you can't find where that is. And that's exactly how someone wants it. For some reason, there's almost no personal info available on Alice Shiragi, especially prior to her debut. That is just a big old blank. So, since this is giving you all a hard time, I swooped in to lend a hand. Intel and Alice would be no sweat for me over in PubSec HQ, so how about it? Want some help? No, we're good. We'll handle it on our own. Ryoji, shush. Just a little more time and I'll get it myself. Great. Happy to help. But wait, come on now. The 
This is a real deal connection here. Just be grateful and take the intel. We're sorry. We just have zero trust in the police. Haru is just. I told stuck. you to stop smiling when you say that. Fine. I've got to earn your trust first. I get it. Alice Hiragi is your senpai. She attended Kosei High? Hmm? Uh, no. Everyone's senpai but yours. <laughs> she went to Shujin? Yeah, I was about to say, Kosei is Yusuke's place. And don't forget it. Because you owe me one now. Got it? I like him. I like him a lot. He's my favorite. Well, there he goes. It's hard to gauge whether he's friend or foe. He's definitely More friend. Importantly, how did he know where Alice went to school? Could the police already have their eyes on her as well? Probably just just him. Possible. It would mean that we Welcome can back, trust him. For now, at least. Oh, that's all we can do now is try it. We'll find the secret room if we go to Shujin, right? That appears to be correct. Everything should go. And we'll have access. Sure. Yeah. With that settled, let's all head to Shujin now. There's no point in dawdling here. Yeah, Makoto's right. Time to check out Shujin Academy. Oh, Senpai. Oh, Senpai. What if Alice was in P5R this entire time and we just never saw her? That would be dope. Oh my gosh, I wonder if there's hidden references to Alice. That would be cool. Hmm. Shujin Academy, I never thought would would have thought we'd be going back there under these circumstances. If we're entering the jail through Shujin, we have no idea what we'll find on the other side. Let's make sure we're all good with the supplies and equipment before diving in. Once you're ready, we should join up with the everyone at the hideout. Then we'll be, that way we can go at Shujin together. Sure. Where is everybody? I took a picture again! <laughs> what if I was Senpai all along? Senpai is me? I can't believe it. Ba -da -da. I should write something. Ba -da -da. Let's get to work. <laughs> I'm Senpai! I've been Senpai this entire time! Development room. Hello, Hello. So by the way, something I completely forgot is if I press this and get rid of them, I get points. More points. Even more points. Points for days. You wish to browse the what will you be would you like to read? Yep, I'm sure. This persona has been registered in its present I get PP. You wish to strengthen it. Person. You lack the power needed. I lack the power. How much power will you add? Seriously. How much power will you add? 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 Goodbye, Orthus. Goodbye, Pesaka. Goodbye, Archangel. Level it up. How much power will you add? This is what. Yes. The power of your mask has strengthened this persona. Now let me just uh, fly take a look. back. Uh, is this okay? No. Is this Archangel. okay? Archangel. Sure. Is this okay? Or this? You may take it with you. Is this okay? Asaka. You may take it with you. All right, 6096. I can't buy any of them if I try. So, awaken your new self. Ooh. All my Noah Zume. You can gain new power. Man. Yep, time to head back. Be on your side. Pee pee time. Pee 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 pee. Go to the shop. This should be helpful. What are you selling? Are you sure? <laughs> I had 88 things. <laughs> I had 88 things. Hello, Chickster. Right. Hello. Performing I'm an Ozume. So here's the thing, by the way. Choose. Really, none of their, like, combos matter. So all I'm going to do is just give them, like, additional things. Uh, this. 
Like, I'm just gonna give them their, like, most powerful things and just go from there. Because, like, it doesn't matter. If you guys are thinking, like, oh, I need to build them a specific way, it, no, it doesn't matter. I am Ame no Azume. I shall be your new face. Now come, let us rejoice in the melody that draws forth true might. Kissed at the juniors. What? Are you okay? You wish to strengthen it. Yes, I would like to get rid of Archangel. Saka. And the Mato Resume. Arsene! How much this is what you Level up. The power of your mask has strengthened. Here's the thing, I level up and it still doesn't do much, so. You wish to browse the no Please take a look. Is this okay? Changing. You may take it with you. Is this okay? Or this. You may take it with you. You may take Is it with okay? you. Is this okay? Is this okay? You may take it with you. And now I don't have enough money to buy what I want. I'm back. May luck be on your side. More bongos! Where is Sparks when you need her? More bongos. Now then. Go to our destination. Are we sure this is right? Not seeing anything weird. I have no doubt. This place gives me the same sensation as when I touch the birdcage. Touch that birdcage. Touch, 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 touch that birdcage. Let's pop in and see what's up. I may have graduated from here, but it still feels wrong to go in without permission. Permission granted. I'm still a student here, you know. True. Still, I had no idea Alice Hiragi graduated from Shujin. I didn't either. And I figured a student council president would know better than anyone about celebrity graduates. True. Perhaps she had a past here that she wished to erase. Probably. What do you mean? Those voices we heard in her jail. Those cutting words and that painful cry. Nope. I Except for Futaba. She was one of the instigators or the victim of such bullying. However she experienced it. Left such a gaping wound in her heart that she refuses to even acknowledge the truth of the matter. And that truth took place right here. So that's why Shujin has a secret room. <laughs> well, we should get moving. What's next? On probably knows you something. You may not be in Shibuya, but this place is still linked to its jail. Inputting the proper Emma keyword should permit access as usual. Okay, let's try it. Everybody ready? Yeah, we're ready. Keyword, Wonderland. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. In we go. Wonderland. Guys, make sure you don't say Wonderland into your phone, otherwise you're... Oh, God! That was weird! So, it's a classroom? Is this what a school is like? It's rather different than how the internet makes it appear. Cognitive distortion's really strong here. What's going on? Uh, hey, look! Ah, a ghost! Makoto. Are you seriously crying? Ugh, how pathetic. Trying to get us to go easy on you. You tricked him the same way too, didn't you? No, I, I'd never do that. What? What is this? Reliving memories.
the fuck are you? That's not a persona. Am I about to fight in a really small room? Nope, never mind. Lock keeper. Thank you for telling me what it's weak to. Appreciate it. Let's go, Sophie. Pretty cool. That was a pretty good five cup boss fight. That was actually a really, really cool boss fight. I like it. I like that. Where's the key? So the lock on the birdcage is gone. Defeating the lockkeeper gets rid of the locks in the birdcage. So that lock's gotta be broken now. So what happened? Like... Is that a rainbow chain? Rumbling. The bird cage in the jail is now unlocked. We will be able to access it. Is what's go is what's going on? What I think is going on. What up, Zeus? It appears our most recent target held the key. In other words, we defeated the warden guarding the key. The warden in Alice's memories. A key to the cage in her jail. So a different shadow held the key, not Alice's. Wait, 
are you going on about? Uh, oh, nothing. I was just thinking how many differences there are from the palaces. Good point. The palaces don't have any rooms like these, or wardens guarding keys in hidden locations. It's as if the more we learn, the messier the situation gets. If it weren't for Sophie, we wouldn't have even made it here. True. Have I been helpful to the Phantom Thieves? Absolutely. <laughs> you know it. Praise accepted. Well, we'll praise you all you want later. We've got a bird cage to bust open. True. We have one last task in the real world first. Let's send Alice the calling card. Take back those desires. Let's do it! Take them desires back. Take them back. Take them back. Take them back. Desires. Okay, all that's left is send in the calling card. What should it say? We're after the desires that Alice is seizing from the people whose hearts she changed, right? Then don't we have to write something like, We shall take back the desires you've seized! Smart. Using the same logic that works on treasures is probably our best shot. Once the desire takes form, we can steal it. If we have returned for a bit? The victims appreciate it. desires, I appreciate it. everyone should return to Norma. So, what'll happen to Alice then? Well, she should be having a change of heart and confessing soon after. Actually, that's not set in stone. What we're stealing this time are the desires that Alice seized from others. This isn't her own desire or ambition. Or like the treasure we found in palaces. So yeah, it could be There's different. no way of knowing whether or not Alice's heart will be changed. Even if we rescue her victims, without a change of heart in Alice, this will just turn into a pointless cycle. But if the calling card works, her desire will manifest inside the birdcage. True. It creates a high probability that we'll encounter Alice's shadow there. We did cause quite a scene destroying the loft. Very true. Whether through words or fists, don't we still have the opportunity to change her heart via her shadow? Then let's do it. Let's take her head on. Oh, uh, sorry. I know that's the dangerous approach, but you guys are all up for it. She's pissed. We want to Alice too, not just her victims. Alice said she wanted to be a ray of light that could inspire people suffering through life. You mean when she was on TV? I don't know if she really meant all that. Well, I do. I get why she said it. Because of all the bullying in her past. I mean, doesn't it seem like we saw part of Alice's trauma in the secret room? Trauma? It's like an invisible wound in a person's heart. It comes from living through painful experiences. Horror is really quick on teaching Sophie how to, uh, like, what things are. A wound in a heart. Maybe that trauma is the whole reason the jail formed. Trauma distorted Alice's heart, giving birth to the jail. That is very similar to Palace Generation F. I've got to say it's possible. But how is that trauma relevant to True. Alice's current behavior? This is just a hunch, but... I think she sees what she's doing as some kind of revenge against the kinds of girls who treated her badly. Stealing someone's dude right in front of her as revenge to Alice? Oh, that's pretty sick. But her shadow's operation is way too massive for that to be all. She just has too many victims already. What if she simply kept escalating because no one was there to stop her? Problem. Becoming a monarch must create an awful amount of distortion. All that only makes me want to help Alice more. If her heart's grown that distorted, then I want her to at least remember how it feels being a ray of light for somebody. Is she beyond helping at this point? I don't know. But there has to be someone who at least tries. We can't just abandon Alice. Once again, it would be really cool if the bosses join her team. Just saying. Just saying. You're right. Thanks. I'm with you. Please Let's let them it. join. That'd be cool. No objections here either. However, should we engage her in combat, we must avoid taking her life at all costs. Absolutely. That's out of the question. Best case scenario, just talk her out of it. Guys, do you think I could write the calling card this time? 
There's something I need to tell her personally. Go ahead. It's all yours. <laughs> Make it badass. Be great. Writing a calling card? Need any help? Ooh, you can help me with the phrasing, Sophia. Awesome. All we gotta figure out now is the delivery. <laughs> I may have a plan for that. This is a special reunion of the Phantom Thieves. We gotta do this right. Bond points. Hey. So anything you forgot to do, make sure you do everything wrapped up by tonight. Once you're out the current call, there's no backing out. Let me exit real quick. I just gotta see if everyone's in their similar places. Because otherwise I should talk to them. Um, this button. So, now that's save. So that's, this is pretty interesting. This is definitely like a combination of Persona 4 and Persona 5 is what it's seeming like right now. In my opinion. Once again, we'll play through Persona 4 eventually. Um, yes, I'm going card. You're all set then. Now I'll just start getting right here. Mission begins tomorrow night. All right, let's do this. I really, really want to have the bosses as our teammates. Please. Maybe. That night. In other news, Akira Kanoe, founder of Medivh, announced a joint project with one-time rival company Pineapple. Tech heads are fired up with anticipation at the news, awaiting further details. Oh, yeah. Okay, folks, listen up! Good evening. Been a while, huh? Perhaps you remember us. We are the Phantom Thieves. And we're back in action with a new heart in our sights. A wicked witch who treats people like toys. Alice Hiragi. You pretend you're a ray of light, but all you do is hurt people to indulge your own darkness. You're a bad person, and bad people have to be stopped. Hey, Zinkichi. And all those desires you stole. Tonight, we're taking them all back. Yeah, they all know. They all know Joker's face now. So it's like Okay, next I'm scheduled at Oh, it's the manager. Hello. Oh, this is bad, Miss Alice. Look at the email I forwarded you. So stylish, true. Okay, no voice acting. It's a return to the Futaba can, but it was a blast. She was in Phantom Thieves Frenzy all over again. I'm sure Alice got her calling card by now, too. Come on, come on. So, all that's left is to wrap this up. Let's head in and finish the job we started. Let's do this. Let's go. Right, tonight we get back to the stolen desires. Let's do this. Yeah, I get so hyped for calling cards. It's pretty cool. It's gotta have a good fashion style. I don't think her fashion style's that good. She has cotton candy in her hair. Like, come on! If you got rid of the cotton candy, then I'd be, I'd be like, I'd agree with you, Blossy. But she has cotton candy in her hair! Do you know how unsanitary that is? Yeah, get rid of her UG and put in, uh... Let's go, everyone. Time to change Alice's heart. Alright. We'll switch to on since it makes more sense thematically.
I don't know how I feel about this. It's like they're just kind of reusing music from the other games. It's a rainbow chain. Perhaps it fell when we opened the lock. Climbing this should give us a straight shot to the bird cage of desires. I mean, it's a good song. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, like. Okay, that'd be perfect. I'm just saying, like. Here we got some new music. Just saying. True. So what happens? A mega fucking diamond! Holy crap! At least it actually materialized for us. Thank goodness. I'm glad Haru was just completely not phased by this. I was worried our standard palace procedures wouldn't work. All right, Skull. Get to Uh, no. Look at the size of that thing. We're gonna have to destroy it. Oh, there she is. Alice. So Shadow Alice. To fight after all. Oh, dear. You thought you'd just sneak in like that. And what exactly do you plan on doing with those desires? Hey, you. Joker, right? Did you come back to me so you could be mine? We're here for your desire. Seize people's desires by force and turn them into your puppets. You toyed with people's emotions and made them mistreat one another. You even opened up stores so you could bilk all the people you brainwashed. We can no longer overlook the wicked changes of heart you forced on the people. The phantom thieves are about to beat the distortion out of me. The Kamaki-san, you're so beautiful. There's no way you could understand. You have no what I've been through. I like her hair. You mean what happened to you at Shujin? Uh, where did... How? We know all of it. How you were bullied. How it was torture for you. But I still... Oh, okay. You found out. No matter how much I hide it, the past still comes back to me. How pathetic. What a mess. True. True, King Cheese. Everything I've always wanted. Mine. What you gonna turn into, Shadow Alice? That's kinky as fuck, this really dude. Is Alice in Wonderland. Oh my! I'm late for a very important date. Come along, come along. March Hare has never looked more tough. Actually, uh, Sophie is because she has life. She has uh, Hama magic. choice to choose. Can I use 
Fire! Fire! Who would have thought that fire... Good night, Dan. Take it easy. Who would have thought that fire was what was needed? She's upgraded to Agilal. Interesting. To do feast your eyes. All right, we got her halfway down. What's going on? You about to evolve? Ooh. Okay. Phase two. Interesting. She goes fucking psycho at some points. This is nice. Okay, so that's so this is just kind of a mix of just trying to do what you can and then. Okay, so it's all about uh, just taking taking your time with it, watching patterns, and go with it. That did. Very little bit. Showtime! Nice. Show's over. So some dice. It's a cool looking boss, I will say. It is definitely a very cool looking boss. But it's also not difficult because she leaves herself open. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna get hit. Nope, slice and dice, slice and dice. Yeah. Slice and dice. Yeah, so it's not that bad. You just if you get hit once, you you're pretty much screwed. Yeah. 
All right, how dare you? How dare you? I'm glad that you can be of use. Rain Jack. Interesting. Slice and dice. Who's using Raku Kaja on me? That's my question. Dude, there is fucking Brain Jack going out of her butt right now. Fucking fire. There we go. Let's go, dude. That was a fun fight. That is actually probably one of the most fun boss fights I've ever had in a Warriors game. That's probably one of the most fun boss fights I've ever had on a Warriors game. That was really, really cool. Toga. Nice. Yeah, that was a really good one. That was really cool. I liked it. Don't you lose? We been we beat God. Shut up. Why can't I change? I'm not the victim anymore. Enough, Alice. You keep going. You'll just make yourself feel even worse. How would you know? Panther really gets you. Like really. Oh, I just can't compare to someone like you, Takamaki san. All my life, I'm no match for the real winners. Uh. And I tried so hard to change. And I was still made fun of. Still bullied. I just wanted to stop being miserable. I poured my heart into fashion and worked to get so far. It, started, it seemed like it started off that way for her, though. And then she and then did this. Who is the she? Terrible. You became the bully, right? You idiot! What good does that do? Now you're just as bad as the people who made you suffer. Is that how you want to live? Like what? The bossy, the true. Yeah. Didn't you want to be something being, else? Being the bully does not make you better than them. Others. Give her a hug. Don't give up because of those selfish bastards. Uh, Akamaki san. You're right. I wanted to rescue them. All the people like me going through the same thing. But I. It's not too late to change. You think so? Son, I I want to apologize to the people I hurt and start over. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can turn it around. I've been through a lot of the same things. But thanks to my best friend and the Phantom Thieves, I was able to stand up for myself and do the right thing. You're never alone. Once you're back to your real self, let's be friends. You wanna be really? Join the team! Join the team! Uh-huh. I mean, I totally love Alice. <laughs> we even share the same dream. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> I go back now. Where I belong. 
belong. This time, I'm gonna be... all the desires. Man, that's convenient that they bounce back into people's hearts. It's raining gems. Hallelujah, it's raining gems. Oh, look at how happy Sophie looks. Sophie's so happy. She just oh, that's uh, that's adorable. That was effing amazing. Did we just witness the desires returning to their rightful owners? Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. Everyone who got a desire disappeared afterward. I hope that means their real-life counterparts are returning to normal. They'll be fine. Yes, you're right. Wait, what the...? What is it, Mona-chan? Something's wrong. It's not collapsing. But the giant desire blew up! Like... No. Just look around. Now that you mention it... Whenever we stole a treasure, we'd have to leave the metaverse entirely, right? Yeah. Yeah, we always had to haul ass out of there. That is most assuredly not happening now. If anything, it's grown eerily quiet. So I guess this just means we can go back here. So if the monarch is toppled and the desires are all returned, the jail still doesn't collapse? It would appear that palaces are different from this jail after all. Give me one second. One second, y'all. There we go. Sorry. There's a chance we haven't actually resolved the issue yet. I wonder how Alice will react to this. Could we find out when we get back to the real world? It'd be nice if she could recall what happened here, but no one shares memories with their shadows. Think she might talk to Panther? Huh? Me? Yeah, yeah. You two could really hit it off. She did say that she loves her. True. Uh, yeah. I mean, it was worth going that far for her to come to her senses. <laughs> Alice really is a one-of-a-kind talent. And her dream is definitely something worth fighting for. I just hope she can remember how that dream first made her feel. So she can bring that feeling to the people who need it. That's right. Yep. <laughs> And I'm gonna try my best to do the same. So we're we just gonna go down the list and next is uh Yusuke. What's up, Sophie? Just as the Phantom Thieves predicted, Alice Hiragi appeared to change her logic. This would not be possible had we simply defeated her. How did you predict the outcome? We didn't really predict it. Being able to change is what makes someone human. Someone is human because they can change. The human heart is much more complicated than expected, isn't it? Just when yeah. you think you've grown beyond your pain, the smallest thing can bring you all the way back down again. Very true. Very, very that true. It's indeed difficult to comprehend. It's filled with mysteries. Well, you're pretty high up there on the mystery charts yourself, Sophie, my dear. No, I'm... Sophie, humanity's companion, right? We get it. <sighs> you got it, Skull. <laughs> Go team. I can feel a strong bond with my friends. Sweet. Phantom Striker. Increased damage when performing a Phantom Dash. Interesting. Well, what do you say we head back now? 
I'd like to check on the real world, Alice. Yeah, <laughs> let's get going. See what happens. More bond, bitch. So let's see what happens. I'm actually curious to know. Why did we not get a new teammate? Ah, Sparks. How's it going? Hi, Cassie. How's it going, dude? Remember, we're back to LeBlanc. Hey. What's up? Han was very angry with Shadow Alice earlier. By the end, though, she appeared happy. Why is that? Wasn't she angry at Alice? They understood each other. Okay. Anger is not just for hurting people. It is also able to save people. Sometimes it's not enough, though. Consider. Anger saved Alice. If someone is in the wrong, anger can be used to show them the error of their ways. The human heart is such a mystery. But thanks to you, I've gained valuable experience. Thank you. I hope to learn more from you. Sure. You know, only nine save slots. Not eight! Nine! I call Sophia? I have no idea. Seven thirty. A certain TV studio filming location. And now for the hottest meet and greet. Alice Hiragi has returned as our special guest. Miss Alice, thank you so much for coming on today, despite the last visit's conclusion. From what I hear, there's something you wish to share? Yes, I need to confess something. Oh shit. The incident that occurred with the previous hosts. That was all my fault. I forced him to proclaim his love for me during a live broadcast. When I heard he was engaged to his co-host, I just wanted to ruin their relationship. Well, Miss Alice. They're not the only ones. Anytime I see a happy woman, I just get so jealous. I do whatever it takes to ruin their lives. Uh, um, is this... is this a prank or something? All of my past managers tried so hard to stop me. But then I'd lash out at them too, and, and I'd assault them until they backed down. The only reason I've changed managers is because my last one had a total breakdown. Wait, are you... is this real? Everything I've said here is the truth. I'm sure all of it is easy enough to prove now. I've lied, and I've... it hurt so many people. And I'm just so sorry for it all. Is this the, the Phantom Thieves? Yeah. I'm the one who did it all. No one but me did these horrible things. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Cut! Cut! Right now! Jump to standby! <sighs> Trying to block the Phantom Thieves. You can't block the Phantom Thieves! This is gonna blow way up. That news lady even name checked the Phantom Thieves. Well, whatever may come, at least our job's done. Right. We may have gone through something quite different from the palace. There's no mistaking Alice had a change of heart. The people with the stolen desires seem to be normal again, too. It's all over the internet. Everyone check their phones! My son was about to blow our savings on Alice merch, but the Phantom Thieves rescued him. Thank you, Phantom Thieves. I'm just seeing a lot of, I want my money back. Well, you sure can't help him there. True! I'm not sure everyone's actually a victim here. Nevertheless, mission complete. True! I now wonder what'll what happen to Alice next. Probably next to impossible for her to make it in the industry now. Her scandal is big news. No matter why she did it, there are still consequences for her actions. But if Alice really can find that feeling she had when she first discovered fashion, I think she'll be okay. She can still yeah, she'll be lose her entire career. I don't think anything else. Even if she has to find another way to shine. 
That reminds me. We should still try to press her for info. She might know something that we still don't. But do we actually have a chance of meeting her now? I imagine her day-to-day -day life's become quite the mess. Ah, oh, jeez, that's a good point. Her agency isn't going to want anything to do with her. All of a sudden she shows up in LeBlanc being like, um, Phantom Thieves? An enlightening conversation as always in here. I was close. <laughs> What's up? How's it hanging, folks? Hi. Ah, you again, Gramps? You're not that old. I, I won't deny I'm older than you guys, but that still stings, you know. But more importantly, you guys really hop to work when your minds are set, don't you? To what are you referring? <laughs> don't play stupid. I gave you solid intel, yeah. But that's... Well, that's good news. Looks like I'll be getting my own in return. Your own what? I came here today for your response to my offer. You know, the deal. We already told you we don't work with cops. And what if I tossed in a little bonus? Such as running some questions by Alice for you. You were just saying you wanted info from her, right? That's... Accurate. But Alice already confessed to messing with people on live TV. Our names have been cleared. Yeah, what she said. We don't need you for shit. If only that were true. What do you mean by that? How is this case not closed? Oh, it is far from closed. This change of heart epidemic is happening all over the country. And we know they can't all be Alice's victims. Therefore, you still have plenty to get pinned on you, don't you? Not only that, you already know how badly you've stirred the pot. That little calling card stunts fired up the public more than ever. These change of heart cases have to be the phantom thieves. It's the only thing I hear down at the station now. Oh, we kind of fucked really up, didn't we? realize how dangerous a position you're in right now? What bullshit? What the hell did we do? Calm down. Why do you think I offered you that deal? If I wanted to, I could cuff you and take you in right now. That's very true. The reason true. I'm not is because I believe you are not the culprit. To catch the true perpetrator, I need your help. What makes you think that, though? Uh, detective's intuition? Maybe? I mean, I'm pub set, but that's close enough. The MO in this recent epidemic doesn't mesh with the Phantom Thieves' ideology. The motives also appear very different. Wait, are we saying that Zenkichi is me as well? These are God two damn it. separate cases. At least, that's what I believe. <sighs> May we have a moment to ourselves? We'd like to discuss it first. Sure, I'll be right outside. You just holler when you're ready for me. Sounds good. Now, nah, he's he's a good guy. We assumed Alice's confession would clear our names. Damn it! So they really weren't just trolling. True. What Anybody? is it? When I was searching the web, I noticed some people saying weird stuff was happening here and there, similar to what we've seen so far. True. Almost none of them made so many of me. And it seems like everyone's just trying to ignore it. But what Gramps is saying is probably not bullshit after all. What should we do? If they decide to scapegoat us, we'll never be able to clear our names. They're not even changing hearts for the same reasons as us. True. If there really are other brainwashing incidents out there, that would mean there are more jails. True again. There could be more monarchs out there too. Also true. What would we do? Considering what we've gathered, going along with that man could be a viable option. True. Are we seriously gonna trust that dude? I would. He what seems great. What do we have? At the very least, his intel about Alice was useful. What do you say? Let's make the deal. I think that'd be wisest. Now wait, even if we do level with him, how would we explain it? If he's going to understand what we've been doing, he'll have to learn about the metaverse. Do you think he'll even believe us? We have no choice but to make him believe. Otherwise, it's our leader on the line. Give him up, Persona! Give him up, Persona! Let him be on my team! Let him be on my team! I want to use him, please? The metaverse! The jail! How do you think we're gonna get some thick-headed cop to buy that? It's not that thick-headed. <sighs> Seems our only choice is to take him to the jail. 
Wait, really? Mako-chan. Can you think of any other way for him to avoid getting arrested? We have one playable card in our hand. We just have to go along with it for the time being. Very dangerous in the jail, but we should be able to protect one man. There doesn't seem to be another option. It may be our, in our best interest to accept the deal. All right, we'll do it. It's not like we have any alternative. Let's hope it's not our undoing. Ah, shit. We gotta stay prepared for the worst case. I'll call him back in. Come on back. We're ready for you. Better be. Better be, Blossy. Huh, that was quicker than I expected. So, what say you all? There's a place we need to show you. Follow us. In we go! Our raid went down wrong. I see. A jail full of shadows. With a monarch seizing desires, was it? All right. What say we go get you tested for drugs now? If you're gonna cook <laughs> some fantasy to sell me, maybe try a little less spice next time. Just save it for now. We're about to take you into the cognitive world. Cognitive world? Just follow us. Follow us. Huh? Where to exactly? And oh God! <laughs> We force feed him like all the drugs to get him into the cognitive world. Take the mushrooms, take the shrooms, take the shrooms, take the shrooms. <laughs> I love how snarky he is. So let's say we get you guys have for drugs. Josh. So what's gonna happen? Yeah, he uh, doesn't have persona. So, are you gonna answer me or what? What is <laughs> exactly, boss? This isn't real. Everything here is real. Every last bit you can see. Whoa! What happened? What are those outfits for? Yep, just about what I expected. This is our phantom thief attire. <laughs> what even is this? Where am I? Questions. This is a jail. You are currently located within a jail. Oh, you haven't met Sophie. Wait, who are you? I am Sophie, humanity's companion. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to What? Chill out, Zenkiji. You gotta keep yourself together. He's gonna see a talking cat! He's gonna see a talking cat! Right! I can't be losing my shit like. Monster cat! <laughs> I am not a monster cat! I am Morgana! You're both. You finally believe we've been telling you the truth? The hell? I don't want to even drink last night. This just had to be a dream. I'm still passed out. You holding up there, Gramps? No need to worry. He's merely having a meltdown. <laughs> She's so calm about that it. Still sounds rather worrisome. <laughs> Looks like we blew his mind. Oh, brother. I suppose we may as well head back now. Meow. Yeah. <laughs> Aw. Poor Zinkichi. <laughs> you gotta chill out, Gramps. Yeah, totally do. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> His brain just flatlined. I'm so glad. We need to convince him though. Get a persona, buddy. What's happened to me? Did I drive myself crazy trying to crack this case? <laughs> it's pretty fun watching him lose it. Hmm. His brain probably overloaded and he can't catch up. Oh, why'd we even bother explaining it all beforehand? Watch him be faking this the entire time. During our first time. Oh, such innocence. Get a hold of yourself, Gramps. Sheesh. How long do you need to get it together? Come on, Earth to Zenkichi. Wait, can you hear Morgana now? Oh, right. Right. Get it together. This cat said my name! <laughs> I love the voice. 
voice actor for Zenkichi. I love it so much. Are you that monster cat from that place? Miss the monster cat. Not a monster or a cat. I told you I am Morgana. Since you're cognizant of Morgana speaking in the metaverse, you can understand him here now too. Cats can talk if I'm cognizant of it. <laughs> That's really something. <laughs> I think he's going to need a little more time to process all of this. We should just get some curry. First off, sorry for losing my cool like that. I think I get what's going on, though. Actually, none of it makes any sense to me. Sounds about right. But I'm going to strive to understand. If we're going to make a deal, then that will make us conspirators. Conspirators have to vow never to betray one another's trust. Also true. So... You already know how all this works. All right, all right. Your trust is repaid with mine. Help me figure out this nationwide change of heart business, and I'll make sure you're all protected. As long as you cooperate, I won't allow the police to lay a finger on you. That's my vow. That's the deal. Get along with the talking cat. I look forward to working together. In that case, I'm gonna cut right down to it and ask for your help with a similar incident. PubSec has their eyes on Sapporo right now because of all the change of heart cases there. I need you in Sapporo Central City by August 8th. Why does it need to be the 8th? Our suspect's out of the country on a business trip until then. We're kicking off the investigation within the hour of their arrival back home. I see. Very well. So it's likely this suspect in Sapporo is another monarch, like Alice. Sapporo. That could be. If so, but I'd have to ask you guys to handle it. So, we're heading to Sapporo Central in Hokkaido, huh? This'll be quite the little trip for us. Uh, word of caution? You'll definitely want to avoid any sort of public transportation. You're gonna want to either drive or hoof it. Why is that? You revived the Phantom Thieves to deal with Alice. Any potential monarch will have heard about it. The way they see it, you're a real problem. Especially if you go after their own desires. Rude. They're definitely all on high alert now. They may even try to get rid of us. There's no way to know who's brainwashed until after they act. What if one of them was the pilot of your plane? But if we can't fly, how do we get to Sapporo? Find a car you can use. That'd be safest. You're not going to set us up with one? Sorry, but I've got to keep this investigation top secret. Any aid would just leave a trail back to this deal of ours. Oh, also one true. more thing. Don't worry about the Alice thing. I'll fill you in once I'm done grilling her. Well, here's to a solved case. Same here, Zenkichi. Ah, uh, right. Sorry I called you a monster cat, Kitty. Oh, you'll be sorry. Rude. Okay. You didn't go crazy. This is real, Zenkichi. <laughs> I can't wait for when he's on our team. Also, yes, I do know that he's on our team because of the box art. Once again, uh, this guy in the corner here is supposed to be him. So. Talk about an effing buzzkill. And for those who are just like, oh, why did you spoil that he's going to be on our team or something? Literally, like, a lot of the Scramble and Striker stuff that they've released about this game on, like, Twitter and, like, leading up to it and uh, I think trailers as well show it. So it's not hidden. It's like the same with all the Phantom Thieves in the original Persona 5. It showed all the Phantom Thieves. Haru, Makoto, Morgana, An, Futaba, uh, Yusuke. Like, it showed all. I mean, Hokkaido? Really? Uh, there goes our vacation down the drain. Ain't this stuff happening all over Japan anyways? Even if we do solve this one, we're just gonna get sent off to some other city. A traveling venture in cooperation with public security. I admit it doesn't sound all bad. We should stop by Kyoto as well. Find that silver lining, Inari. This trip isn't for our enjoyment. The case will still be our primary objective. But it's still summer vacation. Can't we have just a little fun? Uh -huh. Yeah, the eighth is way off from now. We can still do all kinds of shit before then. True. Oh, I'd like to experience some regional cuisines. No idea, can yeah, yeah. Sushi for me. I'm hungry. Phantom road trip time. Oh dear. We can cut loose after the case is closed. That being said, 
We should go over some things before we move on to the trip. First up is Emma. It seems like an ordinary app at first, but now we know that it has a hidden function that can access jails. It's like the Meta app. Yeah, totally the same thing. Except it's public, not private. When something like that is being used nationwide. It sends a chill down my spine. The app itself is fine, though, right? I mean, you can just delete it if you want. Plus, all the keyword and friend list functions work fine. If the app just let everybody slip into jails, wouldn't the whole country basically be pure chaos already? So there's only specific We've ones. We've all registered as friends on it, but that didn't do anything strange in and of itself. Where did this app come from, anyway? It's run by a Japanese company called Medit. They're an international IT firm. We're talking tens of thousands of employees. That's Indeed. quite the large okay. operation. With those numbers, we have to be a top-tier international enterprise. So is this some evil mega corporation making jails or something? But we can't use Emma the same way Alice did. Well, maybe that's because we all got pure hearts or something. <sighs> Moron. There's a possibility that Alice had a special version of Emma. What makes you say that? Uh, mm -hmm. Just an idea. I'm grasping at straws over here. Sounds right. It is though. a possibility. If I got a hold of Alice's phone somehow, I should be able to see if her version of Emma is anything special. Did we get Zenkichi's contact information? I hope we really? did. We should ask Inspector Hasegawa if he could confiscate it for us. I'll reach out to him later over it. All right, we did. Cool, 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 cool. Right. Next topic, the jail. Each palace collapsed after the treasure inside was stolen. But the jail is still in Shibuya. Not only that, but the palaces are the manifestations of their rulers' cognitions. But that's not true at all in jails. Humans can have their desires seized from their shadows there. And that would cause terrible things to occur to them in the real world. When you put it all together like that, don't it sound even worse than the palaces? If these other bizarre incidents across Japan are genuine changes of heart, that means there are probably more jails out there. Okay, so what I'm kind of getting from this right now, just, just to kind of stop for a little bit. Um, from what I'm understanding is essentially jails are... The, the, the idea of a jail in this game is similar to like the different maps and everything from like when you played Hyrule Warriors or uh, if you played like Fire Emblem Warriors, like all the missions. And in like Dynasty Warriors, just like the general maps themselves there. And in all of those, those games, you can go back to them in order to grind. Or if you have like other missions there, you can go back to those specific things. We've seen that with like Adventure Mode, right? In Hyrule Warriors. We, we've seen that, right? I think Jails is just kind of the version of that. And that's why in lore wise, it's like, it's not disappearing because... It's not the same as a palace when really game wise, it's just trying to be like, hey, this is the reason why it's still fitting the same format of a warrior's game. There could be quite a few of them, considering how impossible it is to report on every incident. Which means that if that's the case, when we beat this game, there's not like the jails are going to stay there because why would they disappear if they haven't already disappeared? <laughs> We're working with the police to try and clear our names, but is that really enough? How do you mean? If the jails are as dangerous as we've seen, then wouldn't it be bad to just leave them alone? If stuff as awful as what happened in Shibuya is happening all over, aren't we the only ones who can stop it? That's right. You're absolutely right. Yes, it's our job to save people suffering helplessly. And give people courage. Because my phantom thieves. Yeah, you said it. Great speech, Lady On. You've got us all fired up. That's the plan. Maybe traveling by car will actually work to our advantage. Right. We might find some more jails on the way to Sapporo. Gotcha. So we're just going to be looking around for jails like crazy. What should I get for food? What should I get for food real quick? Pizza. Just say it. That Sorry. works for me. A little bit of a jailbreak spree along the way. But how do we actually find the other jails? <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Uh, yes? What if we just have people post, like, random keywords? Uh, it'll only take us about a million years. I 
believe it may be time for the Sophia show. Sophia show! Check the super AI! I can detect any jails in the vicinity by scent. Ooh. For real? All by the for reals. Scent? A jail emits a distinct signature. When I enter a jail's range, I can sense it. Sophia, that is nuts! Praise accepted. There's still much we do not understand. But at least we now have a course of action. I'm not gonna lie, I do have some issues with this game, but I'll go over them in a bit. This is gonna be... Great time with you guys. You're right. We deserve to enjoy ourselves along the way. All that's left is to secure our transportation. If this is going to fit all of us, won't it have to be pretty big? We'll just have to rent something. Oh, who knows what it'll cost us? Money is no object to us. The prize funds for my most recent contest entry have finally come. Oh, keep your snack money to yourself. Well, we got a deal with someone in the police. Maybe they'll help pay for our investigation. Watch Yusuke actually be right. Nah, no way. Some pretty big transportation. Hmm. I'm getting this feeling that Sojiro mentioned something along those lines once. Let's go ask him. Let's go ask Sojiro. Be like, hey, can you let us a car? We need it. Yeah, if... <laughs> If Zeratesh did not spend all of his money on hookers and blow, we would have been fine. Like, can we just be real? We had, I'd like to remind everybody that in Persona 5 Royal, we had a few million yen. Actually, 10 million or so yen. 10 to 20 million. We had so much yen. We could have bought everything. But then, between games... Doop -a -doop -a -doop. I'm in Tokyo now, and I'm gonna go just to bar hopping. Yay! Hookers everywhere. <laughs> that's pretty much what. That's where we are right now. That is where we are, and I am so, so upset. I am so upset that I'm ordering food right now. Just trying to see. He spent his yen on Doritos. What? Too many Doritos. Sparks. It's way too many Doritos. Wouldn't blame him. Oh shit, hold on. I'm, not, I'm trying to order food real quick too because we're about to extra. I'm trying to make sure that they do not uh, ring my doorbell because if they do, shit hits the fan and I'm not too happy when that happens. I don't care that I'm ordering a shit ton of food. Where did I just send that pizza to? Okay, cool. I was like, did I did I just accidentally put my work address in? Weren't you talking to someone about big transportation or something the other day? Oh, you mean the guy I know with the camper? Uh, yeah, he was whining about never having the time to use it. 
Now it's just collecting dust. Sojiro, that's it! Please go borrow that camper for us, please! Wait, 20 million yen is actually very little? Hmm. Does this have anything to do with what you guys are getting blamed for? Yes. Then I guess I don't have a choice. I'll give him a call. Sit tight till tomorrow. Yeah, now there's our chief. Go consider it. But listen up. No getting too wild out there, all right? And are you all oh, set no. with travel funds and whatnot? Yeah, everybody. Yes, we've all been saving up for summer vacation. <laughs> Once art drove me to rags, but now it has propelled me to riches. Yeah, we gotcha. GG. One million yen. One million yen's little. Damn. How much does that? How much does that switch to? This is turning into some kind of coming of age flick. Wait. Are you guys and girls actually gonna sleep in that thing together? No worries. The boys are all sleeping on the roof. And we've got Makoto and her fist of justice with us if someone tries anything funny. Oh, and I'm very handy with an axe. Uh, yeah. See, we're fine. Please go easy on us, ladies. Sisters are really doing it for themselves. Fine, whatever you gotta do. So, about what I asked for. Ah, right. Alice's phone. Here you go. Nice scores, and Peachy. Hey, that's important evidence. No breaking it. Got that? So, how was Alice anyway? She was pretty upfront about the whole heart changing situation. When people registered her as a friend on Emma, she noticed they'd suddenly grow obedient to her. At first, she was just curious what was going on. But she says she got such a thrill from making people do her bidding, she couldn't stop herself. It began with the friend registration, hmm? Was there anything else? The only other thing she did was apologize. That's all we got. But it does seem like she was telling me the truth. Okay, so what, what you're saying is if I had a million yen, I'd be out of fucking debt. So cool. Thanks, Flossie. didn't know anything about the jails or desires. Well, I have to say, I wouldn't have bought one bit of it if you hadn't shown me what you did. Hmm? What in the hell? Ooh, from Tama Cust. What is it? Did you find something? I thought I'd find some unique aspect to Alice's version of Emma. But nope. This is just the standard commercial version hasn't even been tampered with. So we got nothing out of this? I didn't say that. I did find traces of some snooping in her phone. What do you mean? Someone was monitoring Alice's activity, either her smartphone usage in general or her Emma usage specifically. So like... Someone's keeping tabs on her? That would mean there is still someone out there involved with this incident. Do you see anything revealing the monitor's origins? Somewhere within the country. That's all I get from this. Getting even that's quite the feat. You're real good, kid. <laughs> Never underestimate the techie of the Phantom Thieves. True. So someone was tracking Alice. Who could it be? Uh, one thing at a time. This isn't our only case to work. I'm sure we'll find more leads as we investigate the incidents. Well, I'll see you August 8th at Sapporo Central. Don't be late, got it? I'll reach out to you that day with the meetup location. Time to return this phone to its rightful owner. So Alice could put people in her jail because she was a monarch. Is that about right? Yep. Since it didn't seem to be her version of Emma's doing, that seems correct. I get where you're coming from, but we still shouldn't jump to conclusions. Like Zenkyuji said, there's still plenty to look into. That's true. If we don't know enough about what's happening, we should gather more intel. What's up, Sophia? Hey, hey man. you guys still together? Then come on outside. Check out your wheels. Oh shit! Who knows how to drive? Wait, who knows how to drive? Is it only Makoto? Might just be Makoto. Aw, oh, shit! Well, here's your rails. What? This is the camper? Whoa, 
Whoa, it's like three times more badass than I expected. Beautiful. This retro design is so simple yet so elegant. Thanks, Thanks Sajro. It's awesome. Hey, just make sure you don't wreck it. Mm -hmm. I found the make and model online. This is a full game retro life. It has four beds and a rooftop tent. There are enough power outlets for everyone, as well as cooking appliances for any culinary needs. Oh. You could have asked Dad for anything better. That's our chief for you. Let's go, dude. Wow. wow, I love the interior too. Yes, it reminds me of American diners in the 1950s. Mm. I hope I can actually drive something this big. It's got its little quirks, but I'm sure you'll get used to them quick enough. Until then, though, make sure you drive carefully, okay? Uh, well, I guess I can't really park this here, can I? I'll go move this to the nearest lot. You go finish your packing. That's true. All right, let's suspend for now and regroup once we're all ready to roll out. More bond points. More bond points. Hey. Well, good job getting packed up for the trip. Anything else you think we'll need? If so, we better go buy it now. Once we're all set, we should go say our goodbyes to the chief before heading out. Yo, dude! There's something where I want to go before we head out. You should check it out, too. I'll wait for you outside, so just let me know when you're ready. I should ride something. Alright. That's it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Wow. Everybody's there. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody's just chilling there. Alright, cool. So wait a second, Blossy. If 1 million yen is 9,378 dollars 55 cents, how much is 227,728 yen? Can we just check that real quick? Blossy is spending my bond points real quick. Increase damage when performing a phantom dash. I'm gonna keep hold of this just in case to litter. Utaba! I also wanna just check, does everyone... So since we already have everyone's master arts, we should be quick. This game should not take that long at all. We're also, you know, a fifth of the way to getting every single persona. Let's get rid of Pixie. What was that confusing number again? 27728, the number that's right down there. And then after this, after this, I'll let you guys know what we're going to do. Boink. You can't boink me. You're blocked from boinking. Sparks. What do we say about boinking randomly? You have to blank with permission. Permission. Ask first, then you can blank. Thank you. Sure. Joker has two hundred and sixty dollars and fifty two cents. Damn. Thanks, Mars. Thank you, Blossy. Appreciate it. $260.52. Damn. Be poor as fuck. Poor as fuck. Sounds like a lot, but really isn't. Really isn't. Alright, so here is what we're going to be doing. We're going to take a little break. Uh, I'm going to head off the stream here for right now. I also just realized this probably... Oh, it's not even done yet. Um, so here's what we have planned for the rest of the night. Uh, I have food on the way. This is going to be my food for probably the week. We'll see. Um, but we're going to 
still do two more games. And it just depends, okay? So if you do the docket, you'll see that there is Cyberpunk as well as Dead by Daylight on the docket. Uh, I'm absolutely going to be doing Cyberpunk, and that's going to be around like 10 o'clock, uh, 10 p.m. And I don't know how long it's going to go. If we do Cyberpunk. If we do Cyberpunk, we'll probably go for maybe two hours minimum, maybe three. We'll see. If we do Dead by Daylight, though, I can still get a lot of uh, stuff um, edited and such. Because, once again, still trying my best to get all the VODs up and everything. I've been very, very far behind on this still, and I, I do apologize. Plus, there's other stuff I'm trying to get done too, and it's just crazy, crazy, crazy. Currently on the channel, there are two, three, four... There are currently five unlisted VODs. Yep, five unlisted VODs. And the main reason for it is just because I... Let's double check on this. This is not right? Copyright claim? Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Um, it's just because two of them need thumbnails that are that I can make, two of them need thumbnails I can't make, and one of them I just need to design it. Which usually I do that during Dead by Daylight. However, if we don't do Dead by Daylight tonight at a good time, I'm not going to be able to get those up. So, my idea right now is, if everything goes to plan, we'll do Cyberpunk and get through a lot of the story and then jump to Dead by Daylight. If I feel, if I feel like I have enough VODs that are still waiting around that I need to get to, that I need to upload, then we're going to just do Dead by Daylight and say fuck Cyberpunk for, for the day. We'll do that tomorrow. I also want to let you guys know, with Persona 5 Strikers, oh goodness, that's falling. With Persona 5 Strikers, I'm pretty confident <laughs> that there are no more Master Arts in this game. I'm pretty sure, like, the Master Arts and everything is just, it's done. I honestly think that it's done. Once you got them maxed out for every single character, it's all said and done and so forth. But I think, you know, obviously there are more Bond things to do, right? There's still more Bond things to do. We're missing some of them for, for this. We're missing 8, 9, 10, 11. Missing 11 of them, and these all probably have max levels. So we also have to grind Bond at some point. But I don't think grinding Bond is going to be as important, because I think it's going to give us more than enough stuff to get max Bond. Just being honest. It seems like it's the thing. Cool. Matter of fact, for Dilbury. So here is the the plan moving forward. I'm gonna announce this right now, but I'll, you guys will hear this once again throughout the week. And if you guys are on the Discord, uh, you'll see it in the schedule. The plan is gonna be as follows: We go with Admori is gonna be the first thing. Then it's gonna be Persona Five Strikers, Amori Persona Five Strikers, Amori Persona Five Strikers. Once I get caught up on Demon Swole's exercises, it's gonna go Amori, Persona 5 Strikers, Demon Swole's. Amori, Persona 5 Strikers, Demon Swole's. I don't know how long this game is. I thought it was a lot shorter than it was, but I don't know how long this game is. So I don't know when this is gonna be finished. Amori should be done by the end of March. At least one route is. Second route, well, well that's gonna be up in the air, gonna be honest with you guys. And then Demon Souls will actually be done within a few weeks. Demon Souls actually is not that long, fun fact. It's just doing these exercises takes a while. So we're gonna do that. Other than that, we're gonna be trying to go barrel through games. And I'm just gonna let you guys know that too. Uh also I'm gonna say I will probably go to a doctor at some point to figure out what's going on with my sleeping and why I've been sleeping so much and just have felt like I should only sleep. So, we'll let you guys know about that. Uh, I'm gonna try to get that set up here soon. But with that being said, I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed Persona 5 Strikers. Have a wonderful day, night, morning, afternoon, and or evening. Of course, my name is Katathi, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Friday gaming. See you guys later. Peace. Bye, everybody.